Hi, this is Jody from mcpactions.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to organize your actions in Photoshop. The first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure you have a plan of how you want to organize your actions in terms of by your favorites or are you looking to put all your color actions together and all your black and white actions together. So come up with a plan to start with. The next thing that you want to do is consider what you use and what you don't use. Actions that you do not use do not need to be in the actions palette. Trust me, it'll just clutter things. So if there's an action set that you no longer really use, but you don't want to get rid of it completely, go ahead and just make sure you've got it saved um, in an actions folder on your desktop. To do that, just go ahead and highlight the action set. So let's go ahead and I'm going to scroll down here. Um, so say the flag in a flash action. That's an action that creates, it's a free action that creates a flag for you. Um, it's a United States flag and it's great for 4th of July and stuff like that. So let's say you're in the middle of winter and you don't need that action. Then we can go ahead and just throw it in the trash bin right here. But before doing that, you want to go ahead and just make sure you've got it saved to a folder. So come in here and where the three little lines are in the top of the actions palette and drop down to the save icon right here, save actions. And you'll go ahead and click save actions and then make sure it's named and it's in the folder that you want. If not, navigate the way to the folder and click save. Once you've clicked save, it'll be in there, and you can go ahead and throw it in the trash can, just like that, and it's gone. That way you can organize and not have everything loaded into Photoshop. Then, say next summer you wanna be able to use that action again, you'll come over here and click on load actions, and you'll navigate your way to the flag in a flash, and you'll go ahead and load it in, and just click the load button. So, that's how you'll go ahead and get rid of actions that you don't use much. And you can go ahead and then put those within folders to say what they are if you want on your desktop as well. Now, in terms of the actual actions palette, what we're going to do here is let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and create a new set. And let's go ahead and we're going to call this set favorites. And we're going to click OK. So now you'll see we have a favorites folder, but there's nothing in it yet. To put something in it, you're gonna go ahead and drag, you can't drag a folder within a folder, so you need to figure out what actions you wanna put in your favorites folder. I'm gonna actually move this up to the top, right here, so it'll be easy to find. And let's go ahead and let's say from the Quickie collection that I always use Crackle. So I would come in here, and I don't wanna get rid of it out of this set, but I wanna move it into my favorites, so if I hold my Alt or an Option on a Mac, key down, you can actually drag it in and it will make a copy for you. And it will call it copy. If you double click on that um, action itself, you can actually get rid of the word copy and put it in there. And you'll see Crackle is also still in the Quickie collection. Let's go ahead now and let's say we wanna put in um, Color Burst. Now you'll see Color Burst is from the MCP Complete Workflow Actions. It is not named with um, MCP on it. And if you've bought a set, do yourself a favor, it's only fair to the actions maker, whomever it is, that you then name this. So we're gonna, if you move it out of its set. So go ahead and I'm gonna hold my Alt key down, again, Option on a Mac, and move it in. But when I take away the word copy by double clicking, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna call it MCP Color Burst. That way I know where I got the action set because legally actions are copyrighted, so you wanna know where they're coming from. Um, and we can move it in just like that. Next, we can go ahead, let's say that I like to use the high pat definition sharpening. I would come in here, and again, I can hold my Alt key down and Option on a Mac and just drag it in. And if I want to get rid of the word copy, I'm, you know, kind of silly like that. Um, I go ahead and double click, make it highlighted, and take it out. So now I'm putting all my favorites in one area. Now, if I use those other action sets, I can still keep them in the actions palette and just keep them minimized. Or if that's the only thing I use from a set, again, I can make sure and go ahead and save it and then put it into the little trash can right here. That way it's saved if I need it, but I don't need it cluttering things. Um, so again, I'll show you one more time. If you use the eye doctor action a lot, you'd come in and alt or option and drag it in and then click and change it to say MCP. So you know where you got it from and you can take out the word copy. Now you have all your favorites together, and that's great. Let's assume you've got you know, your 10 or 15 or 20 actions that you use all the time in the favorites. Um, you wanna go ahead and minimize it, 
highlight it, and then you would come in here into the right top corner of your Actions palette and come down and click Save Actions. That way, it'll be there every time, but if Photoshop crashes, it will no longer be possibly in your Actions palette. You wanna make sure you've saved it. So you'd come in here and click on the word Save. And now you've saved a Favorites folder um, action set. So this is your Favorites action set, and you could call it anything. You could call it with your name, Favorites, whatever you want. Next, if you if you're looking to create one, for example, with all your color actions, you would do the exact same steps. So you could come in here and you would do new set and you could call this one color actions. This is a good way to organize things and you can put things in more than one set as well. And again, I'm just going to drag this over here. So I've got it at the top and then you would come in and put all your favorite color actions into this. So you could, for example, you could move in color explosion and just Again, I'm alt, holding my Alt key, so Option on a Mac, and let go. And we would just come in here and again, do the courtesy of calling it whatever, whoever the creator was. And you would slowly put in all those, so you could have them from 10 different action makers, just your favorites, your favorite color ones. And you could do the same thing with your black and whites. So you could do the same thing with finishing actions. And once you've got it organized, like I said, you may or may not need to keep all these other sets in your actions palette. You can save them to a folder so you've got them if you need them as a backup and you can go ahead and click delete. So yes, that's how you organize your actions. Um, I've got mine obviously in here by set as well, but I do have what I call my post-production. You can see right here and inside my post-production it's got all the actions I use the most. I've also got one where I've actually layered bunches of actions on top of each other and recorded a big action and that's my workflow which I'll have to get to another time. Uh, hopefully this helped you guys out a lot. This is Jody from mcpactions.com and I look forward to teaching you more in the future. Thank you.